Welcome to Eiffel Science, I'm Chris. And I'm Eleanor. Today we're going to be telling you the story of a family from 100 years ago who began to see and hear ghostly apparitions, and how the mystery was solved. No, not by an exorcist or even a scientific investigator, but by an ophthalmologist. Now first things first, unless ghosts have found a way to break the second law of thermodynamics and have then used this knowledge mainly to spook the hell out of people in spooky old houses, every ghost story has some sort of logical explanation, be it fakes, sleep paralysis, or just good old fashioned case of hotel manager trying to drum up tourism. If you dig deep enough, it can be solved without having to call upon the services of an exorcist, psychic or Scooby Doo. WH Wilmer described the case in a medical case report over a hundred years ago. In 1912, the house of Mrs. H and her husband G, as they were called, burned down and they looked for an interim home for the winter. Finding few to their taste, they ended up taking a house that had not been occupied for the last 10 years, aside from the occasional renter. When she moved in, Mrs. H described it as being on the sunny side of the street, though oddly no warmth or sun seemed to penetrate through the windows and into that large rambling house. It wasn't long after they moved in that they began to have furnace problems, like in The Shining and not long after that, before everything went full The Shining, like in The Shining. The family began to hear footsteps, even when the house was empty, and with no warning, started to feel ill and depressed. Mr H began to feel like there was someone right behind him, even when there wasn't, and he took to sitting with his back right against the wall. Then they began to see apparitions. On one occasion, Mr H recalled, in the middle of the morning, as I passed from the drawing room into the dining room, I was surprised to see, at the further end of the dining room, coming towards me, a strange woman, dark-haired and dressed in black. Then one night, Mr H woke up to feel like he was being strangled. It's a sign of how messed up their thinking was at the time that Mr H at first thought that his wife had done it as a prank. As the apparitions continued, the family investigated, and found out that they were not the first occupants to complain of such hauntings. Though they didn't know it, and put it down to some spooky sh** going down, they were also handed out a big clue when all of their houseplants died. The family eventually contacted Mr H's brother, who told them to get the hell out of the house as they were probably being poisoned. They did, and wouldn't you know it, no more ghostly apparitions. But the theory on how they were being poisoned wouldn't be confirmed for years until the children went to see an ophthalmologist. One of the children's vision had become distorted, but the only thing that could explain it was the exposure to poisonous gas. He had confirmed that the family had been subjected to carbon monoxide poisoning, likely due to the furnace which broke at the beginning of their stay. It wasn't a haunting, it was just another boiler desperately in need of a service. 